Hello there everyone, my name is Pritam Nikki and I welcome you all to my channel. In this video, I will be talking with you about how we can customize our interface setting and permanently save it. Now, as I explained about config.pro in my previous videos, there is a configuration file which is also known as master configuration file in PTC. We say it master configuration file because there are a lot of other file which we configure and we connect with this master configuration file. Now let's have a look how we can modify our system colors. So click on file option, then go to system appearance. Now you can make desired changes here. You can even select theme and color. After doing that, you need to export the color sys file. And let's say, for example, you can save it to your desktop. You can go to option, then configuration editor. Here you need to click add and you need to type here system color file. And you need to just locate that particular color file. Uh, you can make, you know, a standard Creo, Creo directory where you can save your all type of configuration file. I, I'm going to tell you about different, different types of configuration file in PTC Creo. So this is one of those. So maybe you can save your format, template, tables, format, and so many other customization. Now here, this was my file. So I'm just giving the path of this particular configuration file in my master configuration file. Now I'm going to click OK, export configuration and OK. Now next time, whenever I will come back, let me just close the Creo and I will now restarting it back. Now let's have a look. We have maintained the same color scheme which was there before. And one more thing to be noted down because we now have created a color system color file. Now let's say you are also working with 10 more uh, colleagues and they also want to set a particular standard. So what you can do, you can give this particular configuration file that we have just created. Let me just show you. This one, they can also save this particular file in their desktop or maybe you can share uh, in common drive and then you you need to, you know, configure it here as we did in, in this particular case. Go to add and find system color file and just locate in this way, you know, you, you will have the same uniform type of color across all your workstations. So that's all guys in this video. Thank you. Have a nice day. I hope I, I may able to make you understand. Do like and subscribe to my channel to see these kind of videos. And I will see you soon. Till then. Bye bye.